couple weeks ago, Caitlin came up and gave me very strict instructions to keep this short. Yeah, she told me to keep this short, not to ramble. So I'm gonna do my best to follow those instructions. Sam, good luck, she's all yours now. Anybody over here that know and, and over there that know me knows I would never pass up an opportunity to talk about any, any of my children. Words cannot express how incredibly proud your mom and I are of you and the beautiful woman that you have become. most amazing aunt to our children. <laughs> and I'm a crier. <laughs> I don't, honestly don't know how I would have made it through the early years of my girls' lives if it weren't for Caitlin. first date with Sam so clearly because it was interrupted by the birth of my second child, Eleanor. It was that slightly warm spring day uh, when I walked up to the Pulliam door over off Mass Ave to meet you for our first date. I, I remember I was instantly taken aback by how cute you looked in that gray dress. Their date was cut short with them not even making it five do minutes down the road en route to dinner before Caitlin got the call that Ellie had quickly arrived. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> you look great. Thank you. Beautiful dress. This did not hinder their relationship. As Sam fully understands the importance of family, the way Caitlin spoke of this new guy, Sam, that she had just met, made it clear that he was someone special. She was so excited. While usually stoic and not one to show her raw emotions, she could not hide the spark that she felt. I'm not sure if you knew this, but that night after you awkwardly drove me home after meeting you for five minutes, um, outside your apartment, Pat Sabank and I actually hammered down some wine, and I remember him encouraging me to be the first one to text you back and just put my pride aside uh, for another shot. Well, five and a half years later, and here we are. From the moment I met you, I could tell you were the perfect fit for Caitlin. But Sam exemplifies love and loyalty to family and friends and has a zest for life that's infectious. I, Sam, take you, Caitlin, to be my wife. I, Sam, take you, Caitlin, to be my wife. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love you and to honor you. To love you and to honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. The two of you are perfect together. Caitlin, um, when I went to your engagement party, your family literally said like, wow, we cannot believe someone is putting up with Caitlin. And I'm like, wow, that's the craziest thing I've ever heard. She has changed his life for the better. The song went something like, don't give my sunshine away. I think my mom is very glad to give her son away. She will stop getting phone calls every hour on the hour. And then my sister, Molly, taking the phone calls and calling him back. 
Um, so we appreciate you taking him on. I promise to continue choosing you through all stages of life, regardless of what is thrown our way. I hope that in the craziness that is today, we can find time to relax and just enjoy each other's presence. I'm com completely at peace in knowing that I have you as my lifelong partner, lover, and best friend. I can't wait to see where the next 60 plus years take us. Dear friends, I introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Hay. Sam, you may kiss the bride. Thank you so much. Cheers.